It'd be nostalgic to go into a blockbuster again, get the old stands up, get the fucking big ass sign up, really sell this, and it could work. It really could work. So, our last video was on Toys R Us and how they are setting up in Macy's trying to get attention for themselves. And I talked about how that wasn't really a good idea and how they should be setting up seasonally in different stores. Well, I have an idea that would be good to do in a Macy's or in other stores like it, but not with Toys R Us. Instead, it's with a different brand that's dead and I think could really use a comeback. I think Blockbuster Video should come back and set up in stores. Yeah, I fully agree, honestly. I think if they were to come back as little pop-up stores, they could get some more business. They could get some more traction. People still have a lot of nostalgia for older stuff, like vinyls that people thought were dead but have made a comeback. I think VHSs could possibly make a comeback. So... Instead of Blockbuster just coming back and selling old VHSs or coming back and selling DVDs, I think that they should have a really cool gimmick. Here recently, cassettes and vinyls have come back and they've been putting new songs from new musicians on vinyl and cassette. I think that they should take movies to where it looks appropriate and shows to where it looks appropriate, put them in 4x3 aspect ratio, and sell them on VHS tapes. There are still an endless supply of VHS tapes. Way too many were produced. There is still plenty of fucking tapes to convert into movies. I think that they should take select movies that they know would look good on the VHS format, put it on VHS, and sell it at these limited time stores. Really stand out. Really sell yourself on nostalgia really appeal to the people who want a niche. This is a niche people would be down for. Anyone can sell a DVD. Anyone can sell a toy. No one is selling modern VHS tapes. I've seen on Twitter over and over again, people packaging their own VHS tapes and making their own VHS box art. I think this could be perfect. A lot of the old box art was made from cardboard like a lot of the old boxes are just cardboard or practically paper like you could make these vhs covers easily and i have a massive vhs collection i know people love collecting this shit and there are some movies that never got to be on vhs tape that would be a perfect fucking choice first of all star wars episode 3 revenge of the sith never got to be on vhs tape Episode 1 did, Episode 2 did, the original trilogy did. It'd be really cool if we could get Episode 3, or maybe some of the other Disney Star Wars stuff put on VHS tape. I think it could be really cool. Maybe The Mandalorian gets a VHS release. Maybe Book of Boba Fett. Like, it's endless possibilities on what things could be done. There are plenty of VHS trilogies and duologies that never got completed because of the switching to DVDs and Blu-ray. I think that this could be the perfect time to give people what they want. And maybe take some of those shows and movies that are already built around being 80s-ish and release them on VHS tape. Like the new Ghostbusters sequel, or the Bill and Ted sequel, or Stranger Things. Like there are so many shows and movies out there that go for this old aesthetic. Make it old! Put it on a VHS tape and sell that shit. People would buy it immediately. I know this would work. Oh, absolutely. Because it's just a great old aesthetic that people love. And I think, especially with shows like Stranger Things, it would be perfect. Like, they could possibly make a lot of money off of doing something like this. I think maybe have a few pop-up stores, but mostly try to be online at the beginning. And if it does show to be successful, which I really wouldn't be surprised at all if it was, because like you said, cassettes are coming back, finals are coming back. I think VHSs could come back just as easily. 
you just have to sell it because a lot of people are really nostalgic for these old things. I really liked collecting VHSs. I've stopped. I've gotten rid of a lot of them, but I would definitely be down to pick it up again because it's just a really nice aesthetic. I think that this is a time for old things to come back. And just like how Toys R Us is coming back, I really feel like whoever owns the Blockbuster brand right now, don't fuck with NFTs. Don't fuck with this stupid pointless shit. There's still one Blockbusters open. You missed the chance to do red boxes. You missed the chance to move online. This is your time. You can stand out with a very unique gimmick, and you could end up being the better Toys R Us. Do the pop-up stores. Do an online shop. Make VHS tapes. There were plenty of VHS tapes at the end of VHS tapes that had widescreen video on VHS format anyway. So if you don't want to crop it into 4x3, you can easily just put it in widescreen and people will still buy that shit. I get that it looks bad, I get that it's a shittier technology, but it's solely for the meme and the aesthetic. And there are plenty of hipsters and old people out there that will buy this shit up. It'd be nostalgic to go into a blockbuster again, get the old stands up, get the fucking big ass sign up, really sell this, and it could work. It really could work.